Hey guys, welcome back to Critter's Pets. I apologize for being gone so long. My husband and I bought a house and if you know anything about house buying, it's a long process. Um, but today's video is a little bit sad, but it's also gonna be interesting and another look at kind of what I do, um, what I'm interested in. It's kind of a side hobby of mine besides taking care of animals. Um, one of my sweet, sweet uh, mice breeders passed away today. I ended her suffering because um, she was not doing well. Um, so this is Sugar and I'm going to be dissecting her. So if you do not like dead animals or looking at dead animal parts, meaning the inside of them, their guts, babies, whatever may be inside of her, we are going to be seeing on this video. So if you do not like that, then this is definitely not the video for you. But I, I feel a lump on her, um, on her, under her lung, one of her lungs, like a very large lump. And I'm kind of thinking that this has caused her death. She's skinny which is an indicator of cancer to, in mice because cancer, as you know, can suck the life out of people literally and make them lose weight. I do also feel around her ovaries that there may be babies in here as well, um, which is a high possibility because she was my adult breeder. So if you don't want to see dead baby mice, that then this video is not for you either. Um, but I, but I, but I'm curious if this is a, if this is a large tumor. Um, mice don't live long anyways. I, I mean, they, they can live about a year. Um, but she definitely hasn't lived that long. She's, I've had her for a, a few months. I don't know. Um, I am very sad and shaken up about it, but I'm also intrigued and interested because I love, um, exploring what life was you know um i am dissecting and preserving to me is another way of honoring that animal and taking interest in their body kind of just like when we pass away and people donate their bodies to science that is appreciating human beings on a whole nother level and learning about us and all you know all that stuff so that's one reason why I do this. And I can understand why it's upsetting to some people. Hi, baby. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start dissecting her now. So if you don't want to see that, then you should look away. Okay, I hope that this film's at a good angle for you guys. Um, I didn't show you my dissection kit, but I do have a dissection kit with lots of neat tools in it. I can show you the dissection kit at the end. Um, sorry if you hear crunching in the background. We made snow cones. <laughs> um, so, again, if you don't want to see mouse insides, then you should probably look away because that's going to happen. So, I'm going to first start off by cutting her down the middle. Just right underneath the skin. So I will see the muscle layer after I cut the skin. And I'm not by any means like know exactly everything that's in here, but like by name, but I do know how to see. So, okay, so you see this, Th there was an infection this, this white stuff is pus, so she had an infection somewhere, and the tumor that I feel, what I think is a tumor, is right here, a very large lump that does not feel normal, so, and I am curious if she was pregnant, because I'm pretty sure that I feel babies in there as well, wow, look at all that pus, poor thing, oh, I didn't even notice this, um, until today that she was suffering. She kind of looked a little funny last, last week when I cleaned the cage, but I just thought maybe she had a small cold, which usually goes away on the own. So here we have the small intestines right here. That's what this little pink 
worm like looking thing is that's the intestines right there and i know i don't have gloves on but you know what there's a thing called soap and water a lot of people freak out when i don't have gloves on but i don't mind so it doesn't bother me one bit i've been doing this stuff for a very long time just gonna hold that skin open there okay i hope that i'm not getting this off camera um so okay so again this white stuff is not normal this is this is pus okay so that's concerning right off the bat let's see wow look at all of this oh my goodness oh this poor baby i cannot believe that this has been this has been going on for a while wow okay this is definitely some sort of tumor or an abscess. This this thing right here is not normal. Wow, it's huge. It's huge and all of this white stuff is pus from it. That's not normal. That Amazing. I mean, a sad I'm I'm very upset by this. But here's her, I think this is the liver right here. Get that out of the way. Oh my goodness, this poor baby. This poor baby. Here's part of the lung right here. This is the lung right here. Or is that the liver? Oh, that's part of the liver. Never mind, I'm sorry. Where's the other one? Yeah, that's the liver. More pus. Is it on camera still? Yeah, it's on camera. Let me get this out of here. The small intestines. More of the liver here. Now, I did think that I felt a ba some babies in here, but I'm starting to wonder if that was just that pus pocket there. Because I don't know if she would have made it, if she would have mated with um, the male since she was sick, or if babies would have been produced since she was sick. Yeah, I don't see any babies in here. Okay, but I'm very interested in this mass, so let me see if I can get get around it so I can get it out without puncturing it because it could be filled with with pus in there. Here's the large intestines right here. Wow. Yeah, no babies. So that's good. I'm glad that there were no babies killed during this whole thing because that would have been upsetting. Wow, it's amazing just to see all this in here, but her insides don't look too bad, so she wasn't suffering too horribly up and, you know, up until the end. Sorry if I keep moving her off camera, it's hard to hold still, you know. Wow, that's crazy. Let's see if we can get to the heart, so you can see the heart. Hearts are interesting gonna cut the um, chest cavity here see this right here that up there that's the heart let me see if I can get some of this rib off so you can see better I hope YouTube doesn't take this down. I don't really know their guidelines on any of this, so. But she was humanely killed, so. So here's the heart, right there. This is the heart. Let me see if I can get it out. Very tiny. 
that's the heart. Can you see it? Sorry, my phone's at a really weird angle, so I'll just set it here. I might focus on it better. Anyways. And then this this white stuff you're seeing in there, that's her lungs. Those are the lungs, I believe. Or the liver here. So okay, let's get this mass out. Not sure what it's attached. I think it's attached from the back here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely attached. Wow, it was like stuck to the liver. Oh, wow, that's full of pus. I cut it open on accident. So, okay, it wasn't... It's not a tumor then if it's full of pus. It's an abscess, I would say. I'm not an expert by any means on abscesses or lumps or any of that, but that's yeah, you see all you see all the white stuff coming out of there? Like some sort of lipoma or something. But this is what killed her. If you see how ginormous this is compared to her tiny little body. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Wow. It's not pretty either. So I would say that this probably wasn't cancer, but definitely was the cause of death because, I mean, if you have something in your body that large, from, you know, the scale that she was. Um, that's pretty dramatic, I would say. Let's see if there's anything on the outside of her body that would show an abscess to um, form like that. So I don't see anything in the skin that would have cause that so I don't know what could have caused that I'm not like I said I'm not an expert so I don't know but it definitely was um an abscess of some sort because this is all just pussy it's all pus on the inside so that's pretty gross though <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but rest in peace sugar thank you for being science Look at that little tiny heart. Just the biggest heart ever. Probably the tiniest heart you'll ever see. Hmm? <laughs> Here's her stomach. Right here. Right there. That white thing is her stomach. This is part of the liver here. This black thing. Then these white things. You can see now, yeah. These are her lungs. Here's her other one over here. Then this little cord right here that I'm pulling on, that's where her airway would be. And then here's the tube all the way. And then the trach is up here behind all of this. Wow, amazing. Amazing, amazing. Those look like her lymph nodes. Really swollen. Poor thing. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you didn't, well, I don't know why you watched this video. Um, so if you're interested in the stuff that I use, this is what my dissection kit looks like. I have a scalpel blade here, some scissors, you know, some pins to hold things down, uh, tweezers, and I also have two other kinds of tweezers. These are very helpful because they have little grippy things on the end. These are my clamps. You can hold it onto the skin, clamp down, and it holds it down. Those are very nifty. I need more of those. And then these are the 
main scissors that I use. Um, they're dirty. I need to clean them now, but obviously. And then these are the extra scalpel blades that I have for when these ones go bad. Um, I hope that you enjoy that and I hope that you can appreciate her life as much as I did. And I hope that for those of you that maybe think that I had something to do with her death, now that you know that it had nothing to do with me, I had to do with something internally, sadly. Um, she was a good mouse and I will have to pick out a, another mouse to put in her place because long now I'm down a breeder. Um, but I have plenty of mice to choose from. I did dissect her skull, meaning I took out as much as a muscle tone as I can and I'm going to bury it and I'm going to uncover it in a few months and hopefully it'll be a nice mouse skull for us. So stay tuned for that. You will see the results on my TikTok. But like I said, it'll be quite a while before I uncover it because, you know, the bugs and the earth have to eat away the rest of what's on there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.